Hey everyone, so we'll take a look at VeChain and we'll try to understand exactly what's happening with VeChain. And we go through VeChain on every single time frame to better understand this. Okay, um, again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, feel free to subscribe below because I make videos specifically to make you guys money. And I try to give you guys the best entries as well. So we'll get started on, on VeChain on the weekly aspect. So as we can see, VeChain has been making really nice moves towards the upside with a series of higher highs and higher lows. If I use my Fibonacci retracement tool on the weekly aspect, from the bottom to the top of this impulse wave, we can see that VeChain has different areas of this Fibonacci retracement tool. We have the 382, we have the 0 0.5, the 618, and the 786. So these areas are all considered strong support zones. Specifically, the 0 0.5 and the 618 is considered as a very strong support zone region. So what I'll do next is I'll mark off the 50 and the 618 to show you guys that this area has significance. And some people refer to this area as well as the golden zone. And you guys can clearly see that we had a really nice bounce of the 618 towards the upside as of last week. And we had a really nice green candle. Now, on the daily aspect, if I go to the daily aspect, we can get a better idea of what exactly is happening with VeChain right now. What I can do next, what I'll do next is I'll use a box to mark off this entire area. And this will basically signify that right now, VeChain has been consolidating for the past two weeks. In fact, since April of 22nd, 22nd of April, we've been in this box since then. And we've finally broken above this box now. Okay, this resistance area over here, we finally broken above. And this is more evident, in fact, on the four hourly aspect where we can see this a lot better. So we can see that we were currently consolidating within this horizontal zone back and forth for the past two weeks and today in fact in the last four hours we've actually or the last two hours we've finally broken above this resistance area so what does this mean for us this means that there's potential for v chain to go much higher if it fits our confirmations in order to enter this trade so i'll mark off the resistance area above and the resistance area is approximately at 26 sense okay so that's the major resistance area for v chain and as you can see on the left we've hit this area once twice and three times so right now v chain is in fact above a support zone we have clearly and decisively broken above a, a resistance area i should say with an increase in volume so these are two good things for v chain and our resistance area above us is right over here at about 26 cents so how can we capitalize on this move towards the upside for VeChain, giving us a good 19 to 20% towards the upside. And I'll show you that right now. So there's a few things to keep in mind. First of all, VeChain over here has made or has broken above this resistance area with an increase in volume. Generally, when you have these breakouts towards the upside past a resistance area, um, you always have to look at volume because if volume doesn't increase with these breakouts, then this would signify that this could potentially be a fake out grabbing liquidity in order to fake out buyers in order to dump lower and leave buyers with a losing trade so this signifies with the increase in volume that we have an increase or an impulse to move towards the upside which helps us to decide that yes there's a high probability now that we can go up to 26 cents now again it's not confirmed and trading is never confirmed really you only have to have the highest probability and you have to manage your risk on the way there okay and i'll show you what i mean so first of all we ended up making a really nice double bottom over here, okay? That's the first bullish thing for VeChain as of now. A double bottom would signify that this is a bullish structure. After you have a double bottom within this consolidation zone, you can expect a break, which is what's currently happening, a retest, which hasn't happened yet. And after the retest, if we find momentum, we can see a move towards the upside. And that is to 26 cents, okay? So right now, we've broken above resistance off a double bottom. Secondly, the height of the double bottom structure would be our target zone for VeChain. So right now, you can see that our impulsive move has already been made over here. Where does our height fit in? The height fits in with our previous resistance areas for VeChain as it is. So this is a resistance area. This is a resistance area. And that is a resistance area. So our height of the double bottom structure fits in perfectly over here with the break of the double bottom structure, which takes us to 26 cents, which is another good thing, okay? Now, so what, do I, what have I told you so far? I've told you that we have broken above a resistance area, we've had an increase of volume, we've had a clear and decisive break, we have a double bottom structure, we have um, our resistance areas above us, which is at 26 cents. Now, the way we can capitalize on this move is the fact that we haven't retested the resistance area, or I should say the support area now, 
we haven't retested that support area yet. So upon our retest, we have to see what happens. If we come back for retest and if we see rejection of this area, candlesticks, trend line breaks, divergences, etc., whatever I use or you use for your confirmations in order to enter the trade. By the way, I have a Patreon. It is in the description below. I teach my members how to enter a trade. And over there, I've taught them already how to enter this trade and capitalize on this move towards the upside. Um, so you have to have these confirmations. If you have these confirmations that I've told my Patreon members already, you can enter this trade from the bottom of the structure to the top of the structure, which will give you a total of 20% towards the upside. Now, again, this move is not confirmed. But what I'm trying to give you is the highest probability of this working out. Now, the second thing that could happen is if we come back to this area and we don't show our rejection, we ended up breaking right through, retesting to go back into this consolidation zone, which could happen as well. So we have to see how we react if we come back for the retest, since the retest hasn't been done yet. If we come back for the retest and how we react upon the retest, if we react to a bullish momentum, then this would be a very good trade to go towards the upside, giving you 20% entirely. Okay, so what I'll do now is I'll explain everything I just said and I'll keep it in under two minutes so you get a quick summary or a quick gist of what I just said. Now, I'll start off with the weekly aspect. On the weekly aspect, we can see that VeChain or Vet has made a really nice move towards the upside or it has been making these impulsive moves towards the upside. If we use a Fibonacci retracing tool from the bottom of its impulse wave to the top, we can see that we reacted really nice to the 618 that I've already pointed out. On the daily aspect, on the daily aspect, we can see that VeChain has been respecting this horizontal zone, this consolidation zone, since 22nd of April. So for the past two weeks, we've been in this box for the past two weeks. Today, in the last two hours, in fact, we finally broke above this resistance area with an increase in volume, showing that there is more validity to this move towards the upside, because generally an increase in volume would signify that this is not a fake out. Okay, there's more people, more bulls pushing this move towards the upside. On the four hour chart as well, we can see that we have a really nice double bottom within the consolidation area. To determine the move towards the upside, we have to take the height of the double bottom and place it at the area of the breakout. This suggests that VeChain can go up to 26 cents. If you correspond this area with the left, with our resistance areas previously, we can see that VeChain also has resistance on the left at 26 cents. So this area of 26 cents is a strong area to take profit. Now, this move isn't confirmed yet. We have two things that could happen or two scenarios that could happen right now. Since we've already broken above the resistance area, we have to wait for the retest of the resistance area, which is now a support. Based on the confirmations that I've already told my Patreon members, we can enter this trade from the bottom to the top of the structure. So from 22 cents to 26 cents, which will give us a total of 20% from the bottom of the structure to the top of the structure. If we come back for a retest and if we don't show our confirmations to enter this trade, then there's a possibility for us to break underneath the support zone, which is now turned into a resistance zone and enter back into the major consolidation that I've already talked about in the past. Okay. So this is my entire trade for VeChain in the coming few hours or days or the next day, I should say. Uh, if you guys are enjoyed this analysis and you haven't already subscribed feel free to subscribe below because i make a video on a daily basis and i made people a ton of money on this channel so again i give you i specialize in giving you guys the best entries and the best exits that way you can make the max maximum amount of profits okay so if you guys enjoy content like this again subscribe below again because i make a video on a daily basis thank you and have a good night bye